Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Last week, representatives of Alliance Coal approached the Pike County Fiscal Court saying the company's Scotts Branch Mining Complex will likely shut down in early 2020 if new coal reserves are not tapped. As part of a plan to expand to new coal reserves, the company requested a break on the county's occupational tax in order to apply for further tax incentives through the state. At Tuesday's fiscal court meeting, the court approved a resolution to provide that break, which will cost the county about $80,000 per year, but will help keep hundreds of coal miners working for at least the next decade. In the resolution approved Tuesday, the court committed to rebating the occupational tax funds collected from Alliance Coal employees at Scotts Branch back to the company itself. The resolution and the action approved in it was required to allow Alliance to apply for further state tax incentives, up to 400% more than those approved by the Pike County Fiscal Court, through the Kentucky Industrial Revitalization Act. Officials said the effects of the loss of revenue in Pike County will be offset by the benefits of keeping hundreds of people employed. In exchange, uh, we'll continue to operate and provide those jobs and uh, will generate approximately $3.5 million a year in uh, severance tax. Uh, it looks like, according to our calculations, about $367,000 a year in property taxes, and then there's almost a corresponding amount in sales and use taxes. In the long run, I don't think 80000 is a lot to give up in order to keep 210 to 250 people employed and the impact that uh, this project to buy from suppliers and materials and things of that nature in this county uh, I think is more profitable than what we're going to lose. The resolution approved Tuesday does not exempt Scott's branch employees from paying into the county's occupational tax. That revenue, however, will be rebated back to Alliance Coal and escrowed for the capital investment in the mine expansion. Half of that total revenue will then be returned to Pike County by way of support to local fire departments. The county will still continue to generate revenue from Scotts Branch through the 1% net profits tax. Those in Pike County government believe the fiscal court's action was taken in the best interest of the county and its residents. Once we had a better understanding of what was at stake, then the choice became clear. This is something that we, the fiscal court needed to do in order to promote the coal industry here in Pike County. We want to keep our miners working and we want to make sure that we're also not giving away too much. Now, the tax incentives could end early or it could take the full 10 years. After meeting with the um, people from Alliance Coal, we found out that not only is it a 12-year project, potentially there are three other seams of coal, so this could go well beyond 12 years to 15 or perhaps even longer. The plan to expand the Scotts Branch operation is still subject to approval by the Alliance Coal Board, oh, which could so. meet as early as but this we week. In Pike County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.